Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, we are doing the last pattern options for the Scoop Challenge for McCall's. I know, this week has been filled. I fluttered YouTube with all of my patterns from McCall's in my entire pattern stash. I know, it's a lot of McCall's patterns. And I do apologize for fluttering every day, but it was a highly requested video of if I could show up my pattern stash. So I am going through my pattern stash and I am doing it in uh, increments simply because it's a lot of patterns. I wanna say I have over 3000 patterns and I hate to say that, but it is true. I have so many patterns and I'm trying to sew as many as I possibly can. Some are out of print, some are in print. Now, this video is McCall's 2019. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into McCall's 2019 patterns. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these patterns from 2019. This is the last part of the McCall series for McCall patterns. This week, I know it was a lot that I have flooded YouTube with, but this is the last one that I am showing. The next ones that I will be showing and my next one will be the patterns that I picked up from Joann's this week that I will be picking up today. So the first ones I'm gonna start off with is early spring leading all the way into winter. The first one is 799, I'm sorry, 7889. I'm saying these numbers a little too fast, so bear with me. I like it for view C. I would do it as the dress and then do it also in the top. And once again, it's 7889. Next one is 788, 7891. Okay, look, I need to slow down. All right, so it's 7891. I like view D, and that's the view that I am interested in when I get around to this pattern. Next one is 7892. Now, originally I was going to do this back when I did the wrap top as part of the top series, and I decided to change it because I did not have enough fabric. However, I still wanna do view D, but I also wanna do view B as well. So these are the two views that's on the top of my list in order for me to do it when I get around to this pattern. And once again, this pattern number is 7892. Next one, 7893. And I like both. I mean, the only difference is view A is an asymmetrical hem and view B is just a straight hem, but I would do either or. It doesn't matter to me which one I do, but this is 7893. The next one is 7894. I love view D, what the model is wearing, but I also like something basic as view A, so I would do either one of those views when I get around to this pattern. 7895. Now, the reason why I picked up this is because I did have a special occasion to go to. Um, and I just forgot that I picked up this pattern, but I picked it up for view C for that special occasion. I never sewn it. So if I have a special occasion coming up, then I would definitely probably pull this out and then sew view C on the pattern. That's what this girl right here is wearing. And this pattern number is 7895. 7900. So I like view C and I like view D. Now, the thing about it is some of these patterns looks like they are similar to the new patterns that was just put out in spring and summer of 2020. So if you go back to 20 year 2020 patterns from last year, you will notice view C looks very similar to McCall's 8040, I believe is the pattern number. But I still like it. I picked it up the year before. I picked it up when it came out. That's why the cover still look new. And it's 7900. 7902. Now this has been on my list to do view A forever. I just haven't gotten around to doing so because I was gonna sew this and then I up and moved. So uh, 7902 is this pattern number. 7904. Uh, this was one of the patterns that I actually put to the side when I was putting together my top series and wanted to do this in the fall time when I do the shirt for the, I think that's the fourth part of the top series that I'll introduce at a later time, not today, but this is 7904. 7905, I love the tear skirt uh, for this pattern. I like view B and once again, it's 7905. 
7906. Now this Miss Anita by the design, she have done this tutorial. Brittany J. Jones have done a tutorial for this. This has been on my list and I do not have fabric for it. I have an idea of what fabric I can use for it. So I do have fabric. I just don't know if I want to use that fabric that I have in mind for it. That would be very nice to use for it, but it's 7906. 7907. Um, I love the I love all of the views, but I am more interested in doing view B and view C, and those are two of the views that I would do when I get around to this pattern. 7908, I love view C. I like all the views, but really I like what the model is wearing, view C, and that's the view that I'm interested in doing. 7909, I love all the views of this uh, pattern. And I am very interested in doing view C, and that's probably the view that I would do when I get around to this pattern, but I'm very interested in doing all the views at some point, just don't know when, but this is 7909. Next one is 7912. Uh, this was a Sew Your View pattern. I wanna say 2019, sometime towards the fall time. I was not able to participate in that um, option because I had other things going on and being out the country, coming back in the country, you know how that goes. Um, it's 7912 and I have plans to do this by next year. Next one, 7913. And this is the last one for the early spring. It's a vest. I love view B and I like view C and those are the views that I'm interested in when I get around to this pattern. Now moving over to the spring, the very first one is one that I have already done. I did this a couple of weeks ago as part of the uh, summer skirt series. It's McCall 7920. I did view D in this pattern. I just did the top and used four inches from the skirt. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put pictures up of what it was. So what I created was 7920 for the top and the skirt portion was Simplicity 8019. It was a gourd skirt as part of the summer skirt series. I love it. I have plans to do this top, I'm not this top, but this dress again in view A. And I'm just interested in doing view A now since I have already done it once. I already, you know, know that it, it's amazing on the body. So I'm just interested in getting into doing that dress next. The next one is 7922. This has been on my list forever. Um, I want to do view A, view B, view C, and view D. So all the views basically. So whenever I get around to it, I have plans to do view A in a plaid or gingham, lightweight. And then definitely view C in a solid but I also have plans to do view D in an Ankara print. So this is 7922 and you will probably see this dress made two to three times. Next one is 7925. I love view B, but where I live, I don't really need long sleeves. Three fourth sleeves is a little long as well. So, but I am, I am interested in doing view B, C, and D. So one of those views will work perfect for me when I get around to this pattern. 7926. I completely love a one shoulder, one and six. I also love two and five. So basically, this is a creative created pattern. So you could do whatever pieces you would like, but this is 7926. 7932. So this is actually on my plans for next year as part of the summer skirt series um, as a paper bag skirt. So I wanted to do this this year for my summer skirt series, which have ended June 19th, which was Father's Day. So because it ended, I have plans to do this pattern next year. I just hope you join in with me for the summer skirt series that will start in May of next year, May 1st of next year. I think it's May 1st of next year. I have not put anything together for it. I'm just telling now that I will be doing again uh, next year for the summer skirt series. And this is the paper bag skirt. 7933, I love this for both view B and view C. So those are the two views I would do when I get around to this pattern. 7934, I love view A in this pattern and that's what I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. 7936, so I seen Brittany J. Jones do this pattern. It's a learn to sew pattern. Also, my girl uh, Martika from Martika J. Mate, when she just did her mid uh, summer, 
our mid-season pattern haul. She actually showed this pattern. I already have the pattern, so, you know, me and my girl Martika, we was on the same page when she picked up this pattern. It's 7936, um, and I am very interested in doing it in a linen, and I do have some linen in my stash in order to complete uh, this jumpsuit, but it's 7936. 7937, I love all the views. Don't know which pairing I would do, but I'm interested in doing all of them. And it's 7937. Now I'm gonna move over to the summer patterns quickly. 7943, love everything on this, so you can't go wrong. And this is a learn to sew pattern, it's 7943. 7944, I love view A. View B and view C. So it really doesn't matter which view I would do. I could do view B as a high low. It's a learn to sew pattern. So whenever I get around to this pattern, it's 7944. 7946. I'm very interested in doing view B on this pattern and also view D, those little uh, ties at the top, at the shoulder. I love that detail as well. But it's 7946 and it's a learn to sew pattern. 7947. So I love view A on the pattern, and that's probably the view that I would do when I get around to this pattern. It's 7947. 7948. So I have plans to do the tear dress, view C, but I want to take the sleeves from view B and place on view C, and that's the view I want to do and kind of create my own. But it's 7948. 7949. I love this. This little peekaboo right here on view A. I think that would be gorgeous, and that's what I'm interested in doing. And it's 7949. 7950. I have not gotten around to doing this pattern. I was originally going to do this with the gourd skirt that I created during the summer skirt series. However, I wanted to be able to wear my garments to work. And spaghetti strap, I would have to wear a um, jacket or a denim jacket, a blazer, something to cover up my shoulders. So that's why I decided to not do this pattern and do something else, but this is 7950. 7951, this has been on my list. This is definitely on my list to sew this upcoming spring of 2022 as kind of like a spring wardrobe or a girl's vacation something. Um, 7951 is what this pattern is. 7952, love this pattern as well. I'm interested in view A and that's the view I am wanting to sew up. 7953, I love view D because I love that little, kind of like a um, overlay, that's the word. I love the overlay to each one of these, but I think no sleeve sleeveless would work for my everyday life. So view D is what it is and 7953. 7954, I love all the views. I think the pairing that I would do is two and three, which is this one right here. I'm also interested in two and five, so it's will be one of those views when I get around to this pattern. And it's 7954. 7955. I think Martika has uh, showed this pattern as well. Um, I know that there has been a few people have done it on Instagram. But once again, it's 7955. 7956. Love view C. And that's the view that I'm interested in still and uh, doing when I get around to this pattern. 7957, I am interested in doing view A, and that's the view I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. 7958, so the plan is to do view D, but also view C. I want to extend that to bring it all the way down to uh, the belly button, so that's what I plan on doing when I get around to this pattern instead of doing it as a crop top. It's 7958. Eight. Seven nine five nine view B. That's the view I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. Seven nine six zero. So I know Brittany J Jones did a tutorial for this. This is a learn to sew pattern. I'm interested in view B. I believe Martika actually just showed this pattern as well. Good job, girl. Uh, Seven nine six zero, and I'm very interested in sewing this doing a summer skirt series or something. I'm not sure yet. I would just have to, you know, play around and see when I can get this done. 6961, 7961, I'm sorry, I can't see now. Um, 
View C, but I also like View B, and I need some shorts in my wardrobe, so that may be something that I'll work on <laughs> coming up pretty soon before the summer out. We'll see. 7962, I love View D. I also like View B, so I would make it as a set, and it's 7962. 7963, I love the jumpsuit on View B, and that's the view that I'm interested in doing. And the last one for the summer, I have done this pattern. I did this back in February doing the Disney African Princess Collection. Um, this was Pocahontas that I did, 7968, and I did View A. Now I'm interested in doing View B uh, in this pattern as well in a 7968. Now moving over to the early fall patterns. First one is 7969. So listen, I've seen... Mimi G, Brittany J. Jones, Erica Bunker. I have seen this pattern go around so many times on Instagram and on Facebook and blogs. I am interested in doing view A. And whenever I get around to this pattern, this is one that I am so interested in doing. 7971, I have seen Miss Erica Bunker do this pattern. I'm interested in view D. And that's the view I want to do when I get around to this pattern. 7976, I think Brittany J. Jones did this pattern. I am interested in view C, kind of like a slouchy fit. However, I believe Brittany J. Jones did this in like a loungewear and it looked amazing on her. So I think I would probably do the same thing in the top, but um, instead of making like some loungy pants, make some loungy shorts uh, to pair with it. So this is 7976. 7977. So I really don't know why I picked up this pattern. But if, uh, because this is Ankara Appreciation Week, if you look at Juliet Uzer, which is one of the hosts for Ankara Appreciation Week this week, she has a top on with some Ankara fabric on that kind of have like a, it's not a V, it's kind of like a um, Peter Pan style. So I like that and looking at her in that garment made me realize that, hey, this pattern is a keeper now because I have an idea of what I want to do with this pattern, but this pattern is 7977. 7978, I love this pattern. I have seen uh, Mimi G do this pattern. I'm interested in view A, and that's the view that I am interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. And she paired, I believe she paired this pattern, 7978, with 7982, I'm interested in doing the uh, view B, the pants in this pattern. So I think I would pair both of these together when I get around to this pattern. So 7978 and 7982. And I wanna say 7982, um, there's one up for grab. If you, if you are interested in this pattern free of charge is up uh, for grab, all you need to let me know is the pattern number, like the video, comment below that you want the pattern, and then go over to Instagram and DM me 7982 and make sure you let me know that you want it. If it's still available, I'll let you know and send it to you um, the next business day, <laughs> Monday or Tuesday. Next one, 7984. I am so interested in doing this pattern. Uh, I have it on my list to do next summer because it's still at the top of my list as a flounce skirt. During the summer skirt series, I think this would be interesting to do as a flounce skirt for the summer skirt series um, for the summertime next year, but this is 7984. And the last one for early fall is 7981. I am interested in view A and view D. This could be used as a button down skirt. Yeah, this would be good for a summer skirt series as well. I'm just, you know, Hey, this would be awesome to use. So it's 7981. Now I'm moving over to the fall fall patterns. The first one is a learn to sew pattern. It's 7991. Love everything about this. I'm interested in view C, and that's the view I would do when I get around to this pattern. 7992, I'm interested in view B. And this is a discontinued pattern. So I picked it up for a penny when Joanne's had a, you, uh, they had like a big old bin of patterns that they were getting ready to throw in the trash. And if it had a D on it, it means that you get it for a penny as long as you purchase a pattern. So you got one, so you basically 
purchase one pattern for, I believe, $1.99 and get the next one for a penny. So that's what I did, and this was $7.992. $7.993, I am here for view B and view A, so those are one of the views I would do when I get around to this pattern. $7.996, listen, nice shirt dress. Um, I'm interested in view A and view C, so those are one of the views I would do. 7994. So I seen um Jasmine from from so much jazz do on Instagram and I'll put her handle up. Um 7997. She did this blazer and it was amazing on her. It's still on my list to do. I haven't done it yet, but it's 7997. 7998. Mimi G herself did it in like a blue satin, I believe, uh fabric amazing on Mimi. Now, I don't know when I'll get around to this pattern, but I'm interested in view B. 8002, now we're getting in that 8000 series, okay? 8002, view C, love it, and that's what I'm interested in doing. 8003, all right, listen. So I'm gonna put both of these patterns up like this. So this is the reason why I got it. It's simply because I'm interested in view B, on 8006, but I'm also interested in view C. So instead of doing the top and the pants from view C, I wanna do view C and view B. That's the view that I'm interested in doing on both of these patterns, it's 8003 and 8006. 8004, view B, love it. And I think I just seen Anita by design do this pattern, interested in doing, it's 8004. 8007 bell bottoms is coming back <laughs> so i'm interested in doing view c as like white leg wide leg pants and this is 8007 8008 come on who don't want jump uh some overalls view c that's the view i'm interested in doing and can't wait to do them 8009 so listen Overdrive after 30, new name, her new name is, um, hey, Marika, hey, I think is her name on Instagram now, um, but she have done this, I'm going to put her handle up, but she have done this jumpsuit, I want to say three times, she have done it at the top, she have done like a, the bodice portion with the skirt, she have done the whole jumpsuit, listen, Marika is amazing. So it's 8009. If you have not been following her, go ahead and follow her. She makes amazing stuff. And she is a, you know, African print lover as well from Jamaica. So yes, <laughs> go ahead and, <laughs> and follow her on IG. I'll put her link below as well. It's 8010 is the next pattern. View A and view B. Love it. 8012. I don't know when I'll get around to doing this uh, jacket. I like view C, and that's what I'm interested in doing. And the last one for fall is 8014. Love view A on the pattern, and that's what I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. All right, so the last set is winter 2019 patterns, starting with this uh, coat, jacket, jacket coat. Um, I'm interested in view, doing view A, right? But I want to put the hood on from view C. So that's what I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern is 8019. 8020, view B, it's a learn to sew pattern, level two. So that means you need to have some basic knowledge from the first portion of learn to sew in order to tackle level two. 8021, Brittany J. Jones and Mimi G have done this pattern for, I think last year, doing the holidays i have seen britney j jones do it in like a red sequin and i have seen mimi g do it in like a striped multicolored rainbow style fabric and it's 8021 8022 love it i like view b on the pattern and that's what i'm interested in doing 8025 love it from uc and that's what i'm interested in doing 8026, UC, that's what I'm interested in doing. 8027, okay, listen, 
I like view B, I like view A, and I like view C. I love all the views, so I would probably do one in solid, one in stripe, one in Ankara print, and call it a day. Uh, view A, Ankara print, view B, stripe, view C, solid, and call it a day. It's 8027. 8028, view C, love it. What can I say? And that's the view that I'm interested in doing. And the last one that I have for McCall's 2019 patterns, closing it out with all the McCall patterns from this week is 8029. Now I picked it up for view A, but I also like view C as well. And that's the view that I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. And that's all the patterns of McCall's 2019. Now, there you have it. That's all of the patterns that I have in my stash from McCall's 2019. So all week you have been through my McCall's patterns. If you watched any of the videos from 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Now, you can also see 2020 patterns if you have missed any of them by clicking on my McCall's playlist, which is in the link in the description box below. 2021 patterns I have picked up as well. You can also look above and on the end cards in order to see in screen, in order to see those videos as well. So until next time, bye.